Police making another arrest after a volunteer for Senator Marco Rubio was attacked in Hialeah. That second suspect is accused of kicking the victim in the head and setting two dogs on him. He faced a judge this morning. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with the latest on this developing story. Roy. Well, in court, we heard that this was not politically motivated. However, Senator Marco Rubio is saying otherwise. He believes that his worker was attacked based on his party affiliation. Yes, I have a, a private lawyer. 27-year-old Jonathan Casanova facing a Miami-Dade County judge Wednesday after Hialeah police said he and another man brutally beat a worker campaigning for Marco Rubio in Hialeah. Investigators said it was Sunday. Casanova and Javier Lopez, who was arrested earlier this week, confronted Christopher Monzon as he passed out flyers for Rubio near East 60th Street and 1st Avenue. In the arrest report we obtained, Monzon told police he was confronted by the men who were blocking the sidewalk, and it was Casanova who allegedly told him he couldn't pass through because he was a Republican and his dogs were ready to attack. That's when Monzon said he was thrown to the ground and repeatedly punched and kicked. Casanova eventually released two dogs to attack while he lay defenseless on the ground. As Monzon was taken to the hospital with several broken bones in his face, Senator Rubio tweeting out about the assault on Monday, claiming there were four attackers and suggesting it was politically motivated. Hialeah police denied that claim, and in an interview with the Miami Herald, the mother of Lopez does as well, saying, quote, My son doesn't know anything about politics. He likes fishing. My son has never voted. Rubio tweeting Wednesday, When a Republican volunteer is savagely beaten, the traditional media treats the victim as the criminal and the criminal as a nice young man who likes fishing and just made a mistake. Three days after the attack and the Florida Democratic Party released this picture that shows Monzon with Rubio at a past event saying he has ties to white nationalist groups. And both of those suspects are facing a charge of aggravated battery. As for Casanova, he has posted his bond but still has yet to walk out of jail. When he does, we'll be sure to ask him what prompted this attack. For now in West Miami-Dade, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Uh